do you have this is one of my favorite questions uh what is your restaurant pet peeve oh i think when they like oh this is my pet peeve 100 percent. when they walk up to me at the end and i haven't completed it but i'm done because i often will get full quickly and it's not against anything it's just i just get full and they'll be like did you not oh you didn't like it oh no and i hate that i'm like i'm just done you don't, I liked it. Why do you, why are you getting up in the situation? Oh, and wow. it puts this like, it makes me feel like I'm like what it does is when they'd say that to me is it makes me feel like I have a problem. Like I have an eating disorder or they think something is going on or they think there's some issue or I don't finish meals or something. And I just, it makes me feel really stressed out. Like I, I just have to go like, no, it was great. I'm just full. Like I, or I, I eat all day long. So when then by the time I got here, I wasn't that hungry. And, you know, I feel like I have to like, explain my life to them <laughs> and it's annoying. That sounds awful. Yeah. That, but you probably never have that because you probably finish your food because you like everything. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't. Th- I mean, I've definitely, I, I'm not a huge eater. Like I don't eat a ton. I think that's, that's probably happened to me before. But I'm also like, I don't know, if you eat something and you don't like it, let's go down this road. Would you say something or would you just let them when they say, how was everything? I probably wouldn't say if I didn't like it because I don't really see the point. Like, I don't feel like I don't want to be the person who is like, I want my money back right. for this unless there was something like in it that was bad. Right. But like, I feel like I if I just didn't like it, it's not their fault. That's my personal preference. So I don't really feel the need to like get into that with them. I would rather just, I would honestly, if I actually didn't like something, I would box it up to go and then throw it out <laughs> later. <laughs> oh my God. You just don't want to hurt anyone's feelings. <laughs> <laughs> I've definitely done that where I'm like, oh, I know, I know I'm not going to eat this, but I just feel like I don't want to explain myself. I don't want to explain anything. I just want to go. And so it's easier to just be like, give me it and I'll, I'll eat it. Yep. I want it to go. And I'll, I'll do that with like, even like something where I did like it, I don't often love leftovers, but I just take them to go because I feel like I look wasteful. Yeah. And then mm. just throw them out in the garbage outside of the yeah. restaurant. I do the same thing. Yeah. Well, I usually I get a little further yeah. away. <laughs> <laughs> Last question. This is a new question for uh, for these crazy times. I hate that everyone keeps saying these crazy times, by the way. It fucking it's that's you're right. We need another. That's thing. becoming my life pet peeve. My Corona pet peeve is definitely people saying in these crazy times. Anyway, I know what is the first restaurant that you will go to after quarantine? Ooh, ooh, hmm. that's a good one. Oh, my God. Yeah. I want it to be good. Well, you know where I really like to go? There's a restaurant in Silver Lake called Stella. Oh, yeah. I love that. Place. Um, I love that place and my friend works there and I just love how sunny it is and it feels kind of like you're in Europe or something. I like just love the vibe. Um, so I think I would go there. Yeah, it's a very charming, charming, charming bistro. Yeah. That's a good yeah. place to go because I feel like the thing I'm going to miss most is not food necessarily, but vibe. I miss vibe. Yeah. I know. I have like only one vibe in my house and it's like the same every day. Yeah. So <laughs> <laughs> That's a great I'm answer. I'm a little sick of it. <laughs> well, I hear you. I hear you. 